Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. What is vendor risk management? Imagine your business relies on various external companies. These companies could be supplying anything from paper clips to cloud services. Now think about what could go wrong. Delays? Defects? Data breaches? This is where vendor risk management, VRM, comes into play. VRM is the process of ensuring that the use of service providers and IT suppliers does not create an unacceptable potential for business disruption or a negative impact on business performance. Companies need to know who they're doing business with, what risks they present, and how to mitigate those risks. Effective VRM involves several steps. First, you identify all your vendors. Next, you assess their risk levels. Then you monitor and manage these risks over time. It's like a health check for your business relationships. Vendor risk can stem from financial instability, security issues, or even reputational concerns. Businesses use VRM to avoid surprises that could affect their operations or bottom line. It's about being proactive, not reactive. Think of VRM as the guardrails that keep your company's operations on track. A key part of VRM is conducting due diligence and ongoing monitoring. This means regularly checking in on your vendor's practices. Are they financially stable? Are they protecting data properly? Are they meeting their contractual obligations? Regular checkups help prevent problems before they start. Lastly, VRM is not a one-time exercise. It's an ongoing process that keeps pace with the changing landscapes of business and technology. As vendors evolve, so do the risks they may pose. Staying vigilant is crucial. Vendor risk management is essential because it helps maintain service quality, protects against financial loss, and ensures compliance with regulations. It's like an insurance policy for your company's external partnerships. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning into our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.